My name is Lydia Choi. I work for Oculus as a technical art director, and I'm currently working on virtual reality hardware. It's kind of like a baseball cap, so it's kind of like this motion, okay. and then you flip down the The current thing that we're building is a virtual reality sculpting tool, um, trying to simulate like clay sculpting in space. Welcome to the Pixelation widget, where you will encode a black and white image by typing out the binary yourself. Don't worry, it's easier and more fun than you might think. In this widget, the first two bytes, 16 bits of data, are used to define the width and height of the image you want to encode. The first eight bits define the width and the second eight bits the height. You have to type out all the bits, but the widget shows you the decimal translation so you can make sure you're typing the numbers you want. To make it easier to keep track of where you're typing, you can add spaces and line breaks to the binary code. The widget doesn't pay attention to them, it just interprets the bits that are there. And now it's easier for me to see which bits I need to change to set the width and height I want. I'm going to make a very small image that's just 4 pixels by 4 pixels. Now the fun part. After we've set the width and height of the image, the next bits we type are the bits that define how the pixels are colored. We're just working in black and white for now, so keep it simple. One bit per pixel. In digital images, we define color in terms of light and we can turn the lights behind each pixel on or off. So we let a one, I mean, turn the light on, which gives us white. A zero means turn the light off, which gives us black. Did you notice that I added line breaks when I was typing so that I could keep track of the row I was working on? That's a handy trick, and we actually have buttons that will help you with that. If you click the raw format button, it will strip out all the spaces and line breaks so you can see what the raw binary code looks like. The readable format button will reinsert spaces and line breaks to make it easier to read and edit. If you screw up your spacing or get lost in the bits, you can always hit format and it will clean things up for you. Let's look at an example of a bigger black and white image. If you click actual size, it will show you what your image looks like when using the real pixels on your computer. For images here, it's probably going to be pretty small. Lastly, you can save the wonderful image you've made by clicking Save PNG. This will take the current state of your canvas, whether you're zoomed in or showing actual size, and pop into a new window. You can drag the image from there to your computer or save it in some other way.